What's up, YouTube? This is Brub52, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In this episode, we're going to do, be doing quite a bit of the Fire Temple. Um, uh, I have to pre-record at least three Zelda videos today, and I've already done two, the Scarecrow's, the prepping, which is the last episode, and this one. So, that's how, that's how uh, recording works, for me at least. I pre-record eight videos on the weekends. So, weekends are pretty packed, right? I pre record three for uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And then I do four, 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 uh, hang on a sec. I do, yeah, okay, so it's, uh, I do two Cuphead videos and three of the Zelda videos. So I've done my two Cupheads. This is the Zelda video. Yesterday was Destiny. Whatever. It's it's complicated. Um, it only probably makes sense if I could like show you my plan schedule right now. But I pre-record uh, for the whole week of videos so I can focus on school and stuff like that. And I record my own stuff during the weekends. But anyway, that was a fake wall just there. Um, and here's a Goron. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? I'll tell you a secret for saving me. There are switches in this temple that you have to cut to activate, but you can also use the Goron special crop to do the job. And when they when they say Goron special crop, they're referring to the bombs. So let's get this small key. And I believe there's another Goron on the other side of this room that we need to get. Ow. Okay. So we're gonna hip, uh, hop and skip all the way over to the other half of this room. Whoop. So there is something here. And then you can also use the, uh, the Song of Time to get something else there. Up on top. But there's a Goron right there. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? Here's a secret for saving me. A wall that you can destroy with the Goron special crop will sound differently than a regular wall if you hit it with your sword. So that's how I knew that that was a fake wall earlier. Also, the texture is a little bit different. Like, it can be like a tint darker. And also, it just looked like a doorway. And I played this game about 20 times. So I already knew all that. <laughs> Alright, so. Once we get that, we can actually... Head on out here and for a longer time. Like so. And the time time block will come on down so you can actually hop up on that and get to that door up on top. Which I believe is just a heart, actually. Pretty sure. Yeah. Is it? No, it's a skull tool, it's a skull tool. I'm crazy. Yeah, they also got the first of these weird enemies. These guys will actually steal your stuff if they eat you. The big blob thing that out there that looks like job of the hut or something. Piece of the hut. And space balls. Alright. So we're gonna deal with this guy. Just gonna murder our face. If he eats us. Yeah. Dead. Pretty easy to kill one jump attack and usually kill them dead. But they will steal your stuff. Actually, give you quite a bit of money. I didn't realize. Okay. So let's get the skull tool. There. How many is that? Thirty-one. All right. So we got the next reward, which I believe is a bigger wallet, which is very nice. All right. So we'll go get that after the end of this dungeon. Um. Now we can actually continue on to the rest of this dungeon. I don't know if this is the locked door side. Yes, this is. Very nice. The lava's gonna hurt me! The keys are gonna hurt me. Okay. See, so here is the locked door. Right there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna walk on this plank. Slide down this plank, rather. Like a boss. Actually, climb up this grate. So that you will then be... 
top. There's some dudes over here. It's actually identical on the other side. There's two bats. Oh, really? Really? Good job. Okay. So I'm gonna climb up to the top of this one, and then there's a block on a platform that you actually have to push off and then right up on this little lava ga chasm spew thing. Wrecked. Alright, so, here's the block. So we have to push this off. And then ride it up like an elevator. There we go. Look at that. All the way to the top. With the locked door. And you open it. Now we're in this room. This room is fun. Alright, so you have these guys. Really weird enemies. That are on fire, and when they lose their flames, they go crazy. But we killed them. Because we're Link, and we kill everything in sight. We don't think anything will live in this universe that isn't on our side completely and entirely. So we will never get betrayed. So, uh... I'm gonna actually equip the hookshot because you actually need it for this dungeon. Unlike the bow and arrow, you don't really need it that much. Um, also that switch will actually be very useful in a second. Not right now, though. I can actually push this block off again. Pull it out. Let it rests in these grooves. And you hop up on it. And then do this. Hang on. I said, and then do this like a boss. Link is a freakin boss, and you actually do this, so you have enough time for you to get up here. Actually, climb up. Once the flames are gone, don't stick to me. Okay. Um, Rowdy Ramen and Emma Chuch Panda are talking right now. They're actually getting on Xbox right now. So I will join them once I'm done with this video. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyway, now we're in this maze section. This maze has the least tree keys to get in this area. Right, there's a lot of secrets. There's a lot of secrets in here. It's actually going backwards now. Dogman's with the face, bro. Can you not do this? I turned my phone on airplane mode, which is helpful. Alright, so the first key is over here. This dude. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? I'll tell you a secret for saving me. In this temple, there are doors that fall down when you try to open them. When one of these doors starts to fall, move. If you use a sample of the Goron's special crop, you can break it. There it goes, off into the sunset. You can grab this key. Student's keys. Right. And then there's another one behind a fake wall, I'm pretty sure. That might be a skull too low, though. I'm not totally sure. This is the one that's upstairs that we can't actually get right now. But there is one with an invisible wall. And I know where this one is. I gotta keep running into the... I know where this one is. This is our door that we need to go in once we're done here. But we don't even have all the keys. It's right here. What was that? Anyway, here's the next one. And there's a skull tool behind the fake wall. That's what that was. But there's a skull tool behind a fake wall that you can actually explode. Let me tell you a secret as a reward for releasing me. When you're on fire, you can put it out by swinging your sword or by rolling forward. Did you know that? Yes. I'm a nerd for Zelda, and I know everything. I'm sorry. I didn't... I, okay. Whatever. Let's get the swap key. 
Alright, so you- I- I did hear that Skulltula as I was walking out. I believe it's actually right here. Must be on the- Yeah, it's gotta be on the other side of this wall. Like, on this left side. Yeah, I called it. It's right here. It's here. It sounds different. Here we go, boys. Let's go to love. So now we can leave this area. I promise. We've got all the keys. And I've fallen into way too many uh, boulders than I would have liked. Where is this door again? Oh, yeah, it's right here. Right here, right here. It is right here. I'm a liar. Right, I'm just gonna circle this perimeter until I find it. Think I found it. Yeah. Alright, here it is. So now we're in here. Do not fall. I mean it. You will cry. For hours on end because you will fall. Very far back. Almost all the way to the very beginning of this dungeon. Now there's a door there. We can also hit this switch up here to open the door out here that over here that's got these bars on it oh, don't fall yee okay this actually has the dungeon map in it right here this is actually looking into a room that we will be in very shortly it's a little nice teaser about what's behind that locked door that we're about to open all right there's that so Oh, God. I was... I had to correct myself there. I was going to fall. All right. Well, this is, this is great. All right, so as soon as you step on this platform, you're going to be very surprised. Yeah, hey, well, fine. You're going to run. You're going to run. So you don't die. Uno horrible death. All right. So we made it through this area. We actually have to come back because I know you guys saw that locked door up there. And we will get it. Right. So we're actually on the top place of this area. Right? It's actually a Scarecrow song area over here too. But one thing that's very, 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 very helpful to do. Cast for Wars Wind here. I'm telling you. You do not want to fall down. And have to walk all the way back. It's very nice to just have a full wars wind up here. So you don't have to go all the way back. It's just gonna sit at that doorway where we entered. We actually have to call Pierre here. For the love of God. There we go. Dang it, I wasn't close enough to the point where Navi was highlighting him. Yo, Navi. There we go. Okay. There's the air. Look at my boy. Can I actually reach him? Probably. Yeah, there we go. And now the pier is up here. We can hookshot into this. And this will take us sky high to a piece of heart, boys. And and a room that's actually identical to the one to one that we actually have to go to later in this dungeon to get the dungeon weapon. But well, we're gonna go ahead and uh, thought this was Is this What's a tool here, I mean? Actually can't hook shot on that, whatever. So that's our school tool number 43 33, I believe, not 43. God no, we're not right out of here. There's actually 50 school tools in this game, so we're nearing the end. I by no means at all got all of them. There's actually one on the edge of this ravine here. 
do not want to fall again. Gotta clarify. You don't want to fall. You're gonna cry. Anyway, yep. Yeah. I believe this is, uh, time-based. That chest up there, it's got a piece of heart in it. We want that, right? I'm telling you. Oh, yeah, you have to do this. this quick shot. Oh, my God, this is gonna be impossible with the sensitivity. How? How would anyone... How would anyone actually be able to do that? Okay. We're gonna get this. I will not let you guys down. Okay. Yes. Slide! Oh, we got it. Piece of heart, right? Aww. What? What? I thought that was a piece of heart. Oh man. Is there nothing else? Really? That sucks. Alright, whatever. That wasn't even that much of a secret. Anyway. So I'm actually going to have to end this episode here. We will continue with this dungeon in the next episode. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.